Well, checking back in with Ellen now. Ellen, how common is flash flooding here in West Michigan? Yeah, it's a great question, especially after seeing the flooding in North Carolina and Texas. It raises some concerns. Now, flooding is common in Michigan, but flash flooding is different. Flash flooding is that rapid rise in water, usually within a six-hour window, where you see life-threatening situations very, very quickly unfold. If we look at the last year that the National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning for each of the counties in our region, it's been a while. Most of us, it's been since 2014. Remember 2014, we had a really snowy winter and then a wet spring. So those two combined factors potentially leading to some river rise. You'll notice Lake County, we saw a really heavy downpour there over and over again. That led to flash flooding concerns back in 2021. But Kalamazoo County, it's been since 2010 since you've seen a flash flood warning in your area. So it's pretty rare in West Michigan. Our soil drains fairly well and we don't see the terrain differences that we see in other parts of the nation. For a flash flood warning to be issued, the National Weather Service actually pulls the trigger. They're the ones to issue the warning. And for that to take place, a local emergency manager must confirm that water is rapidly rising or water has already started to move into spots that usually are safe from flooding. So not spots that usually flood, but spots like homes or businesses that don't usually see water. In addition to that, a flash flood warning can be issued if a swift water rescue team has already been deployed or river gauges are showing major or unprecedented flooding. If we were to see a flash flood warning here in West Michigan, the National Weather Service, again, would pull the trigger to sound off those wireless alerts so your phone would go off. Very very similar to when you have a tornado warning in your area and it does that loud buzzer. Usually we see flooding when we have ice jams in West Michigan and typically we can get a one to three day advance looking at conditions that might produce flooding so it gives us that heads up and usually we need more than five inches of rain in a six hour window to see summertime flooding. That's pretty rare. That's what we usually see as a typical threshold for uh, down south. Notice mountainous areas like out west or those hilly parts of Texas need much less water for flash flooding to occur. So climatology and uh, historically uh, just kind of looking at those conditions, we don't see as much flash flooding here.